Hi, it's Bimmerzen, and in this video I'll try to finally fix this annoying startup rattle on my N42 engine by replacing the exhaust Venus unit. So here is my E46 BMW with N42 engine. And since I have this car, I've been having some issues while starting the engine. So if the car was standing still for a night or maybe one or two days, when I went and started the engine, I had this annoying startup rattle that lasted uh, about one or two seconds. And uh, I was always wondering what's wrong with the engine. Now, I did already try and replace the chain, the chain tensioner. I also cleaned out the Venus units, which uh, is basically non-serviceable item, but I still wanted to see the condition of the Venus units. So I will link that uh, videos up in the cards or down in the description. So make sure that uh, you check them out. So in this video, I will try to replace the exhaust Venus unit, which is here. Now this Venus unit is uh, not new. This is from my uh, other N42 engine. Now this is the 2.0 liter version, but uh, it's the same part as in 1.8 liter version. So this is the last item I plan to replace or swap before giving up. And I'm really interested if uh, this will solve the issue. Now, as you can see, this is not new, but the engine looks to be in good condition. And this is a 2002 year and my engine is 2001. And I think that oil maintenance on this engine is really, really important. And uh, I am kind of hoping that this Venus unit is uh, still in good condition and not worn out. Again, if you want to see how these units wear out, uh, check my link in description or up in the card. I have a video on that. And uh, yeah, let's start. To replace a Venus unit, you will need to remove the valve cover here and use special locking tools to unscrew the Venus bolts. So after that, you will need to swap the units and do the timing procedure and reinstall the valve cover. I have detailed videos on how to remove the valve cover and time the engine. So I again, will link them down below or up in the card. So make sure that you check them out before attempting this job because uh, there are many, many details that are important and they are in the other videos. So here is just quick and dirty way to replace the Venus unit. Before I start replacing the exhaust Venus unit, I want to do a quick check and I want to mark the values that I have for Venus adaptation. So I have ignition on and my laptop connected to IMPA and I'm here in analog value 4 where I can see the camshaft adaptations and as you can see I have uh, 116.9 degrees on the intake and uh, 54.9 on the exhaust. So these are the two values that uh, we need to make note of so we can compare it later and see if we've done the timing correctly. Now it's time to remove the valve cover. Bam! And the valve cover is off. Now we have to put the engine in top dead center on the first cylinder. So I'm going to use 22 millimeter socket together with the ratchet and I'm just going to rotate it clockwise at the crank bolt. So we can do this slowly. And we have to rotate it so that we can insert the locking tools. Okay, the intake locking tool is in. I'm going to secure it with the bolt. Now I'm going to insert the exhaust cam locking tool. Okay. 
and these two has to be secured with uh, bolts. The locking tools are inserted and secured at the back of the camshafts. Now one very important thing is that the camshafts are oriented correctly so you don't rotate them 180 degrees. So here you can see this cutout. This cutout has to align with the cylinder head bolt at the bottom. So this is the correct orientation on the camshafts. Now let's try insert the front locking tool. Okay. It fits nicely. Here you can see the tolerance. So it has to be right on the edge of the cylinder head. This one is about uh, less than one millimeter away from the edge. Now let's see on the other side. As you can see, the front locking tool fits perfectly. So this is the correct timing. With the locking tools inserted at the back, we can now finally remove the bolt on the exhaust Venus unit. With the bolt loosened, we can now remove it. To get the exhaust unit out, I will have to remove this bolt here and I will also release the chain tensioner that is uh, right here. Chain tensioner is uh, released, but it's not all the way out. So uh, you can feel it when it is no longer under pressure and just leave it there. Now I'm going to try remove the exhaust Vanos unit uh, by just wiggling it. It should come loose. I'm kind of hoping I can just swap the Venus unit without uh, removing this bolt on the intake side. The chain is no longer under much tension. Okay, let's see if I can wiggle it out. Well, it looks like it's gonna work. And here is my old... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, careful now. So this is my old exhaust unit. As you can see, it says EX, which means exhaust. So you always have to replace it with the same unit. So there is exhaust and intake type. If you switch them around, you will have a lot of issues. Now I'm going to try and uh, insert this replacement unit. I did manage to insert the exhaust Venus unit back in. I had to use both hands, so I did it off camera. But anyway, the unit is now safely secured on. Now I will uh, use a new Venus bolt. Remember, they are torque to yield, so make sure that uh, you replace the bolt. Don't reuse the old bolt or you might have issues. Now let's insert it. I'm going to make it hand tight so that the Venus unit can still rotate when I tighten down the chain tensioner. So first I'm going to screw it in. I make sure that it sits flat on the camshaft. And now I'm going to undo it for quarter of a turn. Okay. Now I have to screw back the chain tensioner. Chain tensioner is tightened and torqued to 65 Newton meters. Now we have to insert the front locking tool. We have to rotate this front impulse sending gear. Uh, 
Okay, the front locking tool is now inserted. Let's check the fitment. So it is flush with the cylinder head. So now I can secure it with bolts. Now I'm going to torque the Venus bolt to 20 Newton meters. The bolt is correctly torqued and now I can remove the locking tools at the front and at the back and then reinstall this Torx bolt here and I'm going to torque it to 10 Newton meters. Okay, the procedure is done. Now I have to reinstall the valve cover. If you are reinstalling the valve cover, you consider replacing the gasket if it is uh, more than three years old because it gets hard after time. And uh, remember, make sure that it fits correctly on these areas here at the front and uh, especially here at the back you have to go with your hand, with your fingers, and try and feel if the gasket is sitting correctly. And remember to use a little bit of silicone on the sharp edges. So here, here, here in this corner, and here, and also at the front, you have to put a little bit of uh, silicone here, here, here and here. Don't go crazy, you just need a little bit so that it seals in these uh, sharp corners over here. Valve cover is back on and now it's time to start the engine before I put everything back together. The engine seems to be working fine, so now I have my laptop connected to the IMPA and uh, I'm again in analog value 4 menu. And as you can see, the intake adaptation is roughly the same, 117.6, and the outlet or exhaust adaptation is also about the same, so 53.6. So uh, I'm going to drive the car for a couple of days and see if the startup rattle is gone and uh, I'll get back to you. And now for the big reveal, I've been driving the car for one week and I have to report that the annoying startup rattle is still present. Wah, wah, wah. So, I guess replacing exhaust Vanos unit was not the cause of our rattling issues. So, uh, now next step is to replace the intake Vanos unit. And if that doesn't help, then uh, there are two possibilities. I have something else going on, something like uh, check valves in the block for the Vanos units, but I don't really plan on removing the cylinder head to access those. So if replacing intake Venus unit will not help, I will not try to solve it anymore. I'm done. But another possibility is that I've used worn Venus units from this engine here. So I guess until I replace the Venus units with brand new units, we won't really know. So I have to conclude this video for now. And if I decide to replace the intake Venus unit, I'll make another follow-up video. That's basically all I can do at this point. But anyway, I hope that you've learned something new. Consider subscribing if you have N42 engine or N46 engine. So thanks for watching, keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance. Thank you.